Hey there YouTube, just wanted to show you my newest project. So this is an eye button cloner. Eye buttons are these little uh, fobs that you get, uh, sometimes for apartments, sometimes for your actual house, and uh, it turns out you can clone them. So this is one of the RW1990 model um, rewritable eye buttons. Currently it's not programmed for this door. So you'll see that it gives me a red and it just spins freely, it won't let me in. However, this is the prototype circuit that I made um, of the cloner. So let me just get this key out, which does indeed unlock the door. Uh, so let's go ahead and tap this to the programming header. All right, so now this device has memorized this key. Now, if I go over here and take the same fob, which again, I'll show you, is not working for the door, and I hold down the program key once I tap it. Now, this key is programmed for this door. So, this actually has persistent memory inside of the Arduino using the EEPROM, uh, which means that it will remember the last saved code um, over power loss. So that's good. Uh, that means that you can unplug it and put it in your pocket and then come back later and reprogram the same key you were programming. In addition, it also has a serial console um, off of the Nano over here. And it allows you to read the currently saved serial, uh, write a new one to the EEPROM for future use. So you can actually back up different ones on your computer. Um, and it also allows you to clear the memory just to brand new. So I'm gonna go inside and show you the PCB that I made now. So because I'm entirely unprofessional, I am just going to record this on my phone instead of using a screen recorder software because you guys get the point. Just deal with the shaky cam. Uh, I'll give links to all of these schematics and also to the code uh, on the cloud uh, in the description. But essentially you can see here that all the circuit is is an Arduino Nano with a red LED and in this case I'm planning on the PCB it being a green LED on the same die as a red LED. Um, I just had a blue LED to test with, uh, some buttons, power, which actually just goes to the VN pin on the uh, Arduino right there, and then just some connectors, and it's all hooked up pretty simply. And so we've got this main PCB here, so let me go to photo view. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, you can see you've got the power going VN here, you've got the read button, the write button, you've got the status LED here, and you've just got some .01 inch pitch headers. Uh, there. I'm thinking that this one you just put a little solder blob on there for one tab and then this one you just uh, put a uh, male header and then take the plastic bit off after you've soldered it. Uh, that should give you a pretty good ghetto, you know, contact. And then the bottom side uh, just gives you instructions about how to use it and some warnings. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the serial console but the serial console does exist so actually I'm going to go get that right now. All right, so here's the serial console. Uh, you can see that if I click on the right thing, we can go ahead and read from it by pressing R. That is the current code that is in it. So if we wanted to copy that, we could. Uh, we can also write a new thing to it, but let's go ahead and clear it first so we can actually clear the memory. So now that the device is cleared, now if I try to read, it will actually say that no code is stored on the device. And actually when there's no code on the device, when you try to program it, instead of the red LED being on continuously like it is with the read here, it'll just, it'll blink, it'll refuse to work for you. So let's go ahead and write that code that we just copied. All right, so it gives you that. I forgot to remove the work in progress, but you just feed it in the same format and success code save. And now when you try to program, it will just do that with some whatnot nonsense. So yeah. Uh, this is not the code in the background, this is something else entirely. This is the code, I have it on the Arduino editor. Um, it's based off of just some code that I found online, which was uh, originally what I based this off of for writing to the button. Pretty much it's just in, you know, a uh, one wire interface with just some magic sauce uh, right here. Uh, this is the magic sauce, these little commands. I forgot to write some of the commands. I bricked like fucking six of these fobs. So I just have a keychain of six permanently broken fobs now, but I can make infinitely many now. So I feel that makes up for it. 
But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if you guys want to buy some of the PCBs and program some of these yourself, uh, the link is going to be down in the description. I haven't ordered them myself yet. It's just something really cool that I thought would be nifty to share. And uh, yeah, probably um, I should just say that it's for instructional purposes only or whatnot. Bye!